All right. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Beck Gilliland, and I go, I'm a senior this year at Telluride High School. And I did uh, marine biology at the University of California, Santa Barbara. All right, what I studied. So um, most of my work was quite similar to um, Taylor's, who we all heard earlier, um, which was looking at a few different species of boring clams, which uh, aren't actually boring, like as she mentioned. Uh, quite fascinating. Um, but uh, what I also got to do is at the very start, uh, like the first two weeks I was on the uh, internship, I actually uh, was working with what you can see on this uh, right photo here was um, actually with uh, a few different, um, or with uh, clam guts of the different species of clams that we were working with that um, they would go out in the morning and collect in the boat that you saw Taylor in, which I'm quite jealous that she was able to go on. They told me I needed a scuba license to attend those, so I was really jealous to hear that she went on the, got to go. <laughs> um, and so, yeah, but um, here's, uh, over here on the left was those photos I was looking at. This one actually has like, if you can tell, a little uh, reef shark in the photo. But um, yeah, so I, again, I was looking at uh, the a few different um, species of boring clams, uh, the Chasia ovidea, uh, Parafolas californica, and some small folads, which are pretty much just like smaller clams that are, you can't, if like you can't, determine whether they're one of these two. Uh, they're a small full lad, so. But uh, this was the marine science building I was working at, um, which uh, is a really cool building because uh, if you haven't been to the UCSB campus yet, uh, that building is literally right across the street from the beach. So um, it's pretty sweet. So like just right after, right after work, just you know, go hop in the ocean, you know, super fun. And then, um, so yeah, and then this photo right here is just uh, how we would uh, help keep track of um, the different photos um, we, would, we would look at and we'd have to go back through um, the photos twice because there were a lot of clams in each photo, um, which was something that really surprised me. Uh, it would take me like half an hour at least to go through like one photo, which, that, which covered like a meter, as Taylor was saying, of the reef. So uh, it took quite a while. Uh, and here's an example. This one uh, seems like I got really lucky in this one because there were, as you can see here, these were, these are the, this is the AI system that we were having to plug our data points into. And these are some of the data points. Each of the different dots is a clam and each uh, color um, is a different species of those boring clams. And uh, that's a relatively small amount of uh, clams that we were uh, in this, that was typically in a photo. Usually, like, there'd be tons, just, like, clusters of them everywhere. And you would go back and be like, oh, there's even more clams in here than I expected. Um, but, yeah, outside the internship, uh, of course, it's hard not to go to a beach in California. California. Um, so a lot of um, trips there, as well as um, the grad student that I was working with, Kristen, um, was kind enough to let both Taylor and I tag along in some of the labs that she was helping TA with um, our uh, professor, Dr. Bob Miller. And um, this one we were actually looking at uh, was super fun. We got to go do some wading in uh, a little channel that fed out into the ocean and we were looking at uh, species densities in, uh, along this channel and how like the salinity would affect these populations as we got closer or further away from the ocean. Um, so some more stuff. Uh, I, I'm a big trail runner. I love running. Um, so and the UC campus, UC Santa Barbara campus is, has great trails all, all throughout the campus. So I made sure to take advantage of those uh, pretty regularly. And then my housing situation, which you can see right here. Um, I was in a couple different places, but uh, the first housing um, I was at was really interesting. The roommate I had uh, didn't speak English, 
So um, that was kind of an interesting barrier that uh, I had to kind of, that we tried to get across, but yeah. Uh, some surprising things um, I learned, as I said, uh, there's several types of clan species that I had to learn about, and which, you know, more than just the uh, Rocky Mountain oysters that you might get at a restaurant. <laughs> And then uh, the amount of clams that can live in one specific area, like in just like a little patch of spot was just a number of them were crazy. And then how long it takes to identify one photo of, uh, for clams. So, which as again, it was, took like 30, 45 minutes per photo. It was crazy. And then uh, advice to future pin turns, always pay attention. Um, and ask questions. You know, a lot of stuff has been stated, but um, I think it was Evan that was saying, like, you are not professional in this stuff. Um, you're going to be learning about stuff you probably had no idea. So um, make sure you're asking questions, but also taking notes and not asking the same questions. And then um, get to know who you're working with and, you know, your roommates when there's not a language barrier. Um, that you can... Uh, be able to you know, learn about all the different stuff that are happening, you know, in the place where you are. Um, like, you know, I was trying to, f I didn't have any plans for the weekend and I had no idea what I was gonna do. And then one of the people in the lab was like, oh yeah, there's gonna be a block party this weekend. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. I might go check that out. Um, so yeah, so just get to know the people you're working with and also you're gonna be spending a lot of time in wherever you are, so making sure you're, it's not just awkward in the lab, so. And then special thanks to Penhead, Sarah Holbrook, Dr. Bob Mil Miller, um, Kristen Michaud, I think Taylor said pronounced that pretty well earlier, uh, my parents, and then UCSB.